Hello, boys and girls. I'm so happy you could join me today. Did you see what I did with my hands just now? I showed you the sign for happy. <laughs> Let me show you a few more signs for our emotions. I love to express my emotions and I usually talk with my hands. So it's a good idea to use sign language when we do that. So I'm going to show you happy, sad, angry, and excited. That's my favorite one. Excited. Isn't it fun? So for happy, we're going to take our two hands and we're going to wave them up like this. Happy. Just like you're bringing yourself up. Happy. Good job. Happy. And when you're sad, you feel down, don't you? Give me a frown. Mm. And you feel down, so you pull it down. Pull your face down. Sad. You're sad. Good job sad. And when you're angry, you want to make a fist, don't you? But we don't make a whole fist. We just kind of open and close our fingers and give me a big frown, mm, a big glare, mm, like that. Angry. That's right. Angry. And when we're excited, we can't sit still. So we're so excited. And we're going to use our signing fingers, these middle fingers right here, and we're going to turn them like this and go in a circle like this. Ah, <gasps> excited. Excited. Very good. Let's sing a song to help us remember all of the signs we just learned. We'll say, if you're happy and you know it, give me a smile. Smile and wave. That's what we're going to do. Okay, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, smile and wave. If you're happy and you know it, smile and wave. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, smile and wave. Good job. Now we're sad. When we're sad, what do we do? We cry a tear, don't we? Can you cry a tear with me? <laughs> it's a little silly, isn't it? But we're going to be sad, okay? If you're sad and you know it, cry a tear, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. If you're sad and you know it, cry a tear, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry a tear, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. How about angry? What do you do when you're angry? Oh, we stomp our feet, don't we? Oh, I'm angry. So let's do it. We're going to stomp our feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. Oh, good job. Now my favorite one, excited. Remember, we go in a circle. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Yay! That was a fun one. We have lots of fun books and, and songs to express our emotions, don't we? You should come to the library and see what we have. Now, a message for our parents. Our literacy tip for this week is sign language is a wonderful tool we use to teach kids to communicate what they want and need without crying and whining. There are so many benefits to teaching children sign language from an early age. Signing and fingerspelling help children learn to process information using both sides of their brains. Through seeing, hearing, and acting out the words they wish to express, they are creating more pathways in their brain that lead to stronger reasoning and memory skills that will benefit them for a lifetime. Most importantly, it gives them another avenue to communicate with us, which in turn helps to strengthen their trust and confidence in our ability to meet their needs. Start small and keep the learning going long after they have learned to speak their minds because it always helps to be bilingual in a constantly growing society. Happy reading.